Hello everyone, welcome to day four of my personal adventure with gouache. It's been a few days since my last video and although I have been painting every day still, I'm still going to count this as day four of my 30 days of gouache just because I like title continuity and stuff. Um, today I'm just hanging out with the pets in this art space enjoying the new set of Windsor & Newton gouache that I got on Tuesday. And I'm finally painting on this wooden board that I've been holding on to. It's really smooth, but has a few chunks taken out of the sides. But otherwise, I was excited to start painting on it. This painting took a lot longer than I thought it would, but I want to take my time with it. Mostly because I don't have a lot of wooden boards just lying around the house. And I wanted to make the most of it. And it is a picture of Cthulhu. Thanks to the suggestions in the comments on the last video, I chose um, Cthulhu, which was one of the suggestions. And I don't know too much about Cthulhu other than that he is a god-like entity from the Lovecraft novels. And he, is an he has an octopus head and dragon wings. It's been a requested theme a couple times, even on Instagram. I guess a lot of people like Cthulhu, so I thought it would be something fun to run with. So I'm actually ecstatic about this set of gouache paints. I went with the Windsor & Newton 10-piece set I ordered online, just because I already had a few of their tube watercolors lying around and I absolutely love them. I figured if I did use watercolor with gouache again, the Windsor & Newton watercolors I already had might go well with the gouache. And I want to thank everyone that gave out their tips and recommendations in the comments last video. It was really so helpful and helped me narrow down my choices a lot, um, quite a bit. A lot of people were suggesting either Windsor Newton and Holbein gouache mostly. Um, from what I understand, Holbein Artists gouache is another really good set of paints that apparently dries like acrylic. Um, so the paint doesn't reactivate when you add water, at least that's what I was told. Um, I haven't done a lot of research, but I think I like that the paint is able to reactivate when I wet it as far as gouache, um, the, Reeves, the Windsor Newton gouache goes, because I can go back over an area with a new color and blend it if I wanted, which is what I did for this painting. And it's, it's kind of a cool thing that I like about gouache paints in particular. I gotta say, even though I knew there would be a difference in quality between the Reeves and the Windsor & Newton sets, I was still surprised by those differences. For instance, the paint dries with barely any streaks to it. Um, just really flat, really bright, really vibrant, and it dries really fast. The colors are also very opaque and spread nicely on the surface. I feel like I can cover a lot more surface area with less paint than I was able to with the Reeves gouache. And I haven't tried painting on paper yet, but I'm hoping it's the same result when I do. Also, I've put some mixes in a palette and the Windsor paint reactivates so much more easily when I add water, even if it's been dried overnight. I was able to work the paint back to life almost and use it again easily. With Reeves, it was difficult for me to get the paint wet again, and even when I did, the color was thin and it had pretty much been like using watercolor. That's how thin it was when I tried to reactivate it. Um, while working on this picture, I really felt like I was using a thick paint that I could move around much more easily and rework when I had to. Overall, I'm very happy with the quality of this Windsor & Newton set. I'm not sure if I've even needed the 10 piece set. I think I could have done just fine with the six paints, but I'm not complaining. I still think Reeves gouache was a fantastic set of gouache for starting out as a beginner. Sure, there is a large and noticeable difference in quality, but for the price, I got some paintings that I liked out of the Reeves set, and I'm still going to keep the tubes that I have and probably use them in the future. If not, then at least for fun or for work in my sketchbook. I'm really grateful for the advice that I've been getting in the comments so far from people that are more familiar with the medium or have been using it for a while. I'd advise anyone about getting into, thinking about getting into gouache to check out the comment section of some of the videos when you have a chance because there's some good information there. I think I would have still been hesitating about upgrading my supplies if I hadn't asked for opinions. There's something about hearing the go ahead or um, 
positive experience from someone else that can convince you to try something new. So yeah, thanks for that. So as this video is coming to a close, I will say that I'll be breaking this painting up into two videos. This one is just me laying down the basic shapes and colors and detail in the face and goblets behind Cthulhu um, here. When I work on it again, I want to go into finer details and shadows of the piece and make it totally finished. It's almost done, but I think I can push it so much further. So like I said, I'm so happy with the colors and I think that shows in today's video. I, I'm pretty much just playing with it and I gotta say, just enjoying the hell out of painting right now. It's starting to be like my way to wind down from the day and focus on some me time for a bit. So anyways, I do hope you enjoyed tonight's video. I look forward to finishing this up and sharing the final product with you guys. I'll see you in the comments and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.